So does everyone else have their own favorite piece of cardio equipment? And I don't mean like, you know, oh, bike, treadmill, but I mean like that elliptical, third row, closest to the wall, right by the paper towels. Like the piece of cardio equipment that you'll get in a fist fight over if somebody else is using it. Is that a me thing or does everybody else have that going on too? You know, whose brain is most messed up? Is it me or is it all of us? Hello everybody and welcome to my 2024 prep vlog or welcome back to my 2024 prep vlog. If you have been here before, I am 12 weeks out as of two days ago. So 11 weeks and five days out from the Battle of the River in Chattanooga, Tennessee on June 8th, the year of our Lord 2024. So I am Darren Starr, full-time online coach. Been doing this for a long time. You can read all about what I do in the description down below, coaching workout programs. You can check me out at Five Star Physique. You can check out the Drop Set podcast, which we are approaching 250 episodes of that since 2016 when it's been going on. Um, you can check that out uh, on YouTube here or on all podcast streaming platforms. So let's get down to it here and we're gonna cut out the fat here and just go nuts and bolts this week. So let's hit it with the first section. Okay, so first up, irregularities for the week. What did we have? Nothing, it was a boring week. Um, everything went according to plan, no real interruptions, schedule was fine, meals were all fine, there wasn't any weird stuff going on. It was spring break, so my wife was around um, all day, every day, which is great, love having her around. It is kind of different though, just because my days take on a pretty typical routine, and when she's around, she will ask me like, hey, can we do X, Y, Z, can, and usually it's like, you know, like she was painting a bathroom, she needed my help with some stuff, so it was just random little interruptions here and there, which is great, so that's not, uh, that's that's the sum total of the irregularities. It was a really boring week, which in prep always makes for success. Weekly win. So if you've been following along, you know that last week um, we implemented a carb cycle and I finally implemented some lower days here, bringing my carbs down to 175. I think they're around 250 on regular days and still around 350, 360-ish on leg days twice a week. I don't remember the numbers because I track all my macros in MyFitnessPal on my phone, but I just set a plan. I look at the numbers once and then I'm, I forget what they are for the rest of the week. I just know I measure this much of this stuff at this meal, etc. So I'm not micromanaging my macros. I'm not macro managing my micros, whatever. Uh, it's just following a plan. So I use macros to build the plan, but then I'm just following the plan. I don't log my food on a, day, on a daily basis, which means I don't remember what my numbers are, but there's something around that. So those low days, they kind of suck a little bit, but they're not too bad. You know, so again, 12 weeks out. If you're hating your life at this point, you got some issues. Okay, on the quantitative side of things, we'll pull up the tracker here and see what we have. So um, I'm gonna show enough of this here so that you can see data back going to around like 15 weeks out. So that week you can see here, um, you know, if you just track the weekly averages, it was 238.1, 233.8, that was a big week, um, 230.8, and this last week ended at 229.3. So um, not as big of a week, down a pound and a half, which is pretty close to on track to where it needed to be. But again, last week the numbers were deceptive because, you know, it showed a big drop because of the huge drop the previous week. It was impacting that average number. So you had to look into more of the day-to-day -day granular stuff and realize like, oh yeah, actually, you know, we're kind of slowing down here. And it's just, this works for me because of how freaking consistent I am with everything every day. Like these daily numbers have a good bit of weight into them, no pun intended, um, simply because uh, my day-to-day -day routine is extremely consistent. And so um, I don't have as much variation in water retention or anything like that that a lot of people might have if your meal times or food selection or anything are off on a regular basis. So um, it's super consistent. So we can see, um, you know, I implemented uh, the new carb cycle here. That would have been on, I think, the 11th. Um, and then the 12th, I think that was Tuesday, if I remember correctly, was my first low day. And then the scale goes up eight tenths of a pound the next day. And so that first low day, that kind of sucked. Like, you know, I pulled out oats and just had a few rice cakes for my first meal. That was not terribly satisfying. And the whole day, it's just like a, several meals without carbs at all. Um, and finally, for the final meal, I bring some carbs in there, which was kind of nice. So I just have to get through the earlier part of the day. Um, and then you can see like things start trending down a little bit. And then Saturday going into Sunday, the bottom fell out of that number and then it continued to drop again this morning. So this looks like we're on a good track 
to me. Um, the average shows a pound and a half drop, which I'd be okay with. I think ultimately it looks a little bit more impressive than that. And also you can see the forecast for the next week, just based on these two data points, I'm already at a two and a half pound drop just comparing averages. So that looks great. We'll just see, you know, if I'm at 226.4 by the time um, we do this next week, that's where I am now. That's not progress. So you have to kind of dig in beyond the numbers, beyond the raw numbers and interpret them a little bit. Um, Again, like you could really get in over your head with this stuff. I enjoy this kind of numerical analysis. Um, I like overthinking things just a little bit, but I also have to watch myself and be like, am I thinking too much about this? In this case, no, I feel very comfortable with this. So um, I'm happy with what these numbers are showing. So I don't anticipate anything changing this week. Ah, uh, yes, random shit I hear. So not very much this week. I did have a guy this morning, um, an older gentleman in the gym, bless his heart, who came up to me and said, are you a competitor? I'm like, yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. And he said, like, well, you have a very excellent physique. And I, he strikes me as a guy who I didn't talk to him for long to get this information, but who might have competed back in the day or certainly was a fan of bodybuilding in general. So that, that was kind of nice. Um, other than that, not much. It was a pretty low-key week. I didn't talk to a lot of people, which for me makes it a good week. I am a little bit of a hermit. If people talk to me, I was just the anxiety starts to come about. I've often said like, you know, I work pretty hard in the gym, but nothing in the gym makes me sweat more than the anxiety of having a conversation with somebody I don't know. Um, like that is when I start dripping buckets and I'm like, oh, oh, oh God. And people will be like, oh man, you're working hard. I'll let you get back to it. I'm like, this is the hardest part of my workout right now. Talking to you. I guarantee it all the time, all the time. Social anxiety. It's a, uh, it's a motherfucker. Yep. Um, other than that, not much on the radar this week. On the qualitative side of things, we'll do the video here and we'll do this like we did last week um, where I show the cold posing footage from Sunday morning on one side of the screen and the post-workout um, footage from the same day on the other side of the screen. So these, these are literally hours apart, but you can see what a difference lighting and blood flow makes. I did um, try a different location and lighting setup using the doorway trick um, this week, just because I wanted something that was gonna be a little bit easier and more consistent and more predictable to use for lighting rather than having to get my big whole lighting rig set up, which I wasn't really happy with the, uh, the uh, visuals that I was getting from that anyway. So this is simpler. Um, do the videos here show a whole lot? I don't know. Uh, I mean, this is a this is a story, and it's become almost a cliche at this point for me to just say like, "Well, I'm still fat," um, which you know, as far as stage lean, sure. But at this point, I'm like, "Do I look 12 weeks out?" I'm like, "Yeah, I'm not too pissed off for being 12 weeks out and looking like this. I think that's okay. Um, I'm pretty much okay with it, and I'm noticing things on a pretty regular. I wouldn't say daily basis, but a pretty regular basis at this point. Um, little changes here and there. A uh, little bit of extra detail or separation, a little bit of vascularity popping out, and it's always most evident, and this will always be the case, when you've got a little blood flow. Um, or after a meal with some carbs and some sodium. Like, you're never going to see your veins pop out quite after eating some carbs and a high-sodium meal, especially if you put some fluids in with that, too. So um, that's, that's the hidden recipe to, to make your vascularity pop. And that plus heat. So <laughs> heat carbs, sodium, fluids. You do that, you're, you're gonna get some, you're gonna get some crazy roadmap action going on. So, um, but also like my routine is consistent. So like I was, I have those four things uh, all together um, with my final meal. It's a higher carb meal, it's a higher sodium meal. I have fluids with it and I'm on the couch covered up in a blanket and usually have long sleeves and a robe on. And so I get up from that and that's when I'm like, okay, what does it look like tonight? You know, strip the robe off, check out the arms, check out the abs and like, yeah, okay. And so that look is getting a little bit more extreme. It's a cold look, I'm not pumped up, but just bringing all that stuff into your system, it does cause a bit of a flush and a bit of a change and that should be getting more and more extreme. So at 12 weeks out, I'm like, yeah, it looks pretty good. So hopefully at six weeks out, I'm like, okay, that looks a little freaky. That's kind of where we want to be. So we got some time to get there. I feel like I'm seeing those changes on a regular basis though. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, this is the first time where, you know, I can look and say eh, 12 weeks out, like, yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm on track here. I think I'm good with this. You know, you can see as of today, well, you can't see, I pulled the tracker off the screen, but as of today, 12, 11 weeks and five days out, I'm 17.8 pounds away from the weight cap at 209. So um, that seems like a very, very reasonable number to hit at this point. And I probably will need to shoot a little bit lower than that in order to hit the kind of condition that I wanna get. Um, <clears throat> so I certainly um, am not in a position where I'm gonna back off 
at this point and say, okay, let me pump the brakes a little bit. Like, no, I mean, I'll always assuming that there's a plateau around the, uh, around the corner here. Um, but also it's like, I figure I'm probably going to need to dig a bit under that cap as well. So I feel pretty good with, uh, with how things look overall. Um, not thrilled to be clear, but pretty good. Pretty good. Um, how I'm feeling, definitely like the, the carb change this week definitely hit me. So I wouldn't say I'm starving. I'm definitely missing carbs on a low day for sure. <laughs> like I can, I can feel it. It's like, okay, all right, is it time to eat yet? Yeah. Thankfully, like, you know, my low days are Tuesday and Saturday. Those are my two rest days. Um, Tuesday is my slowest day for work um, as far as like clients on the calendar. So that is when I schedule a ton of other crap. So I'm doing a lot of YouTube and podcast research right now. I'm working on creating a couple of courses and some um, like uh, email list opt-in PDF freebie giveaway things. And so there's a lot of logistics involved in that. So um, I'm doing a lot of writing research. Um, and so I have those blocks set on my calendar that kind of keeps me focused. Like, so I can hop from one meal to the next, but I've got a bunch of stuff in between to do. So I get buried in writing for a course and suddenly I'm like, Oh crap, it's four 30. It's time to walk the dogs and then eat. Okay, cool. So, um, the, the secret to a prep where you're trying to manage, um, <clears throat> a certain amount of food fixation and a lot of hunger is just to keep yourself busy, not necessarily active and burning calories and stuff, but just busy. Keep your head busy and give yourself stuff to do. Um, definitely a little bit more food focused overall. Um, I went into a convenience store for to get an energy drink because I was on the road and um, was going to be a while before I uh, was back home and felt like I needed a caffeine hit. And just walking down the aisle there, I was like, oh, oh, I remember the days when I could actually like eat something from here. That was kind of nice. And it was the first time where I was like, oh, okay, all right, well, mark the tape. It took 10 weeks into prep to get to that point, but I've had my first experience. Yesterday, walking the dogs also, somebody was barbecuing out back and I was like, oh my fucking God, that smells, I would commit a homicide to have a burger right now. That was so good. That lasted for about five minutes and then I was over it. It was just like, you walk past and you're like, it was unexpected. I'm like, I was not prepared for that. I did not, I was not mentally ready for that. So that hit a little bit, but uh, other than that, I'm hanging in there pretty good still. You can see this hasn't quite turned into a hostage video yet, but don't worry, it, it's coming. Yeah, so next steps for the week ahead. Um, honestly, I don't add, I don't think I'm going to be changing anything at this point. I'm happy with where everything sits. So as far as supplementation is concerned, diet, the cardio recipe, it's a lot of work, but it all feels sustainable at this point. I still feel good. Like the energy that you're seeing here, I didn't have to hype myself up. I didn't do a line of coke or anything before this. Like I'm I'm good. I, I can I can do it. I, I want to take a nap more days than not. But actually, last day I think on Saturday I took a nap, and even then. It was 20 minutes and I woke up with a busy head um, because I'm like, I got all this crap to do. I got to get back down on the computer and keep writing stuff. Like I just worked all through the weekend. Um, so energy is still pretty good. I'm not dragging ass or anything like that. Um, I'm sleeping really well. I'm waking up on time, going to bed on time, doing all the little things to make sure that I'm setting myself up for success. Training has been great. Um, made a few changes with Sam to some of the workouts there. And um, just like, you know, retiring movements, bringing new ones in, forcing progressive overload pretty aggressively on some of those. Like today we, we made some leaps on um, like a V squat and also um, uh, really pushed more total weight on a leg extension and continued to progress on a single leg leg press. Um, and the body is cooperating and giving me PRs on all those. So um, I'm pretty happy with performance overall too. So uh, there's no need to change anything yet. This week coming up ahead is pretty easy. Um, you know, I have to take my wife to the airport on Saturday. She'll be gone for a few days. So I will have a bachelor weekend, Saturday and Sunday, um, which is dangerous because that's usually like, all right, pizza time because we like different pizzas. And so when it's, when she's not around, I can get what I want, which bring the hate. I can take it. Yes. Pineapple. But you know what the best thing is pineapple with pepperoni, red onion. That is a great mix. Oh my God. That's such a good mix. So good. Um, so that's my opportunity because she wouldn't touch that with a 10 foot pole. You know, when we get pizza, we share. So anyway, I haven't had pizza since oh, July something like that. Maybe I don't have any idea. It's been a while. So, um, so anyway, that won't happen this weekend. That is kind of like my default MO for bachelor weekends like this when she's away, but we'll just stick to the plan and call it good. I don't see any other issues though. Um, it should be a pretty easy, boring week ahead, much like this last one was. And as we know, like I'm in control of most of this stuff myself. You know, I don't have kids to contend with and their schedules and weird stuff going on. I just need to stay healthy. There's just so much sickness going around. Um, I don't want to catch any of that. There's none of it in this house, but there's just so much of it. I just don't want to be sick on prep. If I can avoid that, I think it's, it's home run territory here. 
Okay, and lastly here, q and I'm not much this week, so leave your comments down below. I'd, I'd love to get some feedback from people, know what's on your mind, um, and just answer questions if it's about my prep or bodybuilding in general, like um, at Trevor Gage 89 here, he said, um, like my workout split, think I'm gonna try it now. Right now he says, he, I have chest and arms on the same day and I find it kind of overwhelming to try to fit all that in within a reasonable time. And we kind of went back and forth a little bit and, um, and and talked about, you know, put like pair your strengths together. Don't put your weaknesses on the same day. And he said, and he, this is probably a question now for Q and A workout splits. And what do you do if all of your areas are weak? <laughs> Which I would say at that point, if everything's weak, then nothing's weak and everything's balanced. But what you want to do is just bring everything up. And so what I will do is link a card up here um, to episode 248 of the drop set that I did on Friday, which is when that went live, where I did uh, I dedicated the, th the third segment of that, um, which uh, that video is chaptered. So you can skip ahead to the third segment if you want, um, specifically on split design and how I approach that, depending on each person. So um, that, that question actually prompted the entire podcast segment. So thank you, Trevor. I appreciate that. So um, that that's it for this week. I mean, it was a great week all around. Good progress, good results. I feel amazing. I feel energized. I feel highly motivated. And I feel like in four weeks, I'll be playing this video back um, after recording a segment of one of these that looks more like a hostage tape where I describe myself as being near death um, just for a little funny juxtaposition. But right now, I have zero complaints and I'm looking forward to next week and being 11 weeks out. So if you enjoy this kind of stuff, please like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. If you aren't already, again, you can check out fivestarphysique.com for all of my goodies there. I have coaching programs available. That's one-on-one -on -one stuff with me. Uh, workout programs available. There's merch. You can check out the podcast. It's called The Drop Set. That's available here on YouTube, linked in the description below, and also on all podcast platforms if you prefer the audio-only version. So Thank you all for watching. You're the best. I appreciate you. Catch you next week.